Hi, in this video, we'll be looking at uh, step one, which is learning the strategy. Uh, basically, it's setting up uh, simple uh, decision trees like this. Uh, uh, Justin calls it something else, but you'll have to watch his video to see what he calls it. Uh, I'm going to be sharing with you basically that step one is you need to learn what he is uh, teaching. And for that, uh, go ahead to the previous step, which was to go here and watch the video. So hopefully you've done it by now. So once you've learned, uh, there are a few things that I wanted to share with you from uh, Leadzook's perspective and also from having experience in having done quite a few of these campaigns. Um, there are a few things that could hopefully help you or at least give you some alternate ideas on what you can do to implement this. All right. firstly is where do you get all the data from? Justin shares quite a bit in his presentation on what to do. Uh, in this case, it's being uh, tapping into what is happening in the news. Uh, and it could be anything from Facebook breaches, data breaches, all that sort of stuff to uh, Trump and border, Brexit, uh, the impeachment that's uh, currently just going on or happened. Uh, and uh, you can get a lot of the data uh, I mean, from sites like uh, BuzzFeed. Uh, and so that's the first place to how to get the ideas or content for what you need to create uh, your decision trees about or the campaigns about that Justin shares. The second one uh, to tap into, this is uh, something that uh, I have a bit of experience in, which is um, tapping into uh, the market confusion that's taken place. Um, when in a lot, a lot of the large markets, um, there's not a lot of clarity you know, the newest fad to lose. I mean, there's about thousands of ways to lose weight. So you could really come up with uh, ways in which to, to pierce through that by having some sort of a voting thing uh, for that. Uh, solar panels. Um, so just sharing examples there that you can use the strategy in, in markets where there's an emotional uh, appeal or there's emotional dissatisfaction uh, even if it's not political, all right? So uh, be sure to uh, do some research to tap into that. Um, so let's go on to the next step, which is uh, the secret is to test, uh, which is, and what I've found is that no, hardly anyone is exhausting the possibilities of what you can do. And this is where your research or your ability to come up with many ideas of what to do testing, to test with, uh, will pay off uh, a lot of dividends, especially in this strategy where changing one question is not a big deal, which you'll learn throughout uh, this training. The one word of caution, which is uh, polling for lead gen or doing this sort of a decision tree for lead gen versus uh, uh, just for engagement. A lot of these times you, when you see this strategy being shared, it's just for engagement, like just you know cast your vote or pick your winner uh, which is like the Disney princess or whatever it be. And the end result is just to create some sort of an engagement on the site uh, rather than uh, to capture the lead uh, and use them or nurture them towards some sort of a transaction or sale, which is the purpose of lead generation. So I just want to share with you that that in this case, you are working towards lead generation, which is why you want to move towards we're using a tool like Leadzook, which I'll be sharing with you next. Right, so leads and lead. Right, so Leadzook gives you a leverage. You can create decision trees, which has many, many applications, and I'll be sharing that with you soon. And also, you can design for high volume because lead Leadzook is made by marketers who are also um, good at technology. So it's a martech sort of an approach to doing marketing. And that's why you'll see a lot of features built in that you won't necessarily see in just a product done by uh, just like a quiz software. It's don't really have some of the capability that Leadsook has. So I'll be sharing with you what that is. All right. So firstly, you can make your marketing relevant. You can personalize uh, a number of things, quite a lot of things, actually, from the questions and answers that you, that you learn about your leads and customers, which you can make personalized lead magnets. You can make personalized offers. They could be your offers or affiliate offers. You can even do bundles of offers. Uh, you can do product recommendations, particularly good if you have an e-commerce site. Uh, you can create dynamic generated content from the answers, uh, calculators, reports, sales letters, charts, uh, even personalized PDFs. Now you can also do obviously combinations thereof. So you can put charts in reports, charts in a sales letter, or a calculator in a sales letter. Um, polls which is the purpose of this one 
uh, dynamic forms, checklists, you can even do your web-based chatbot, and any, any and a hybrid that could c include any number of these other things, uh, in which includes text, image, and videos. Right now, what does a decision tree look like, which is essentially something along those lines, you're building pathways of what your lead's gonna go through. In this case, it's about 20 or 23 nodes or 20, 23 interactions that someone's gonna have on your website. And this has been generating about a thousand leads per day, every day for well over two years. So it's day in, day out, thousand leads. This has a 60% opt-in as well, uh, which most will tell you is not possible if you have these many nodes. Uh, it is entirely possible if you've got the positioning right. Right, in this case, highly consistent. So your, your, so your decision trees or your polls or surveys, um, and we, we call them decision trees, don't have to have only one question. You can have many questions and still not lose, uh, still not lose uh, or drop the conversion rate. And if you do do that, uh, you'll en end up enjoying a lot of data, which means your personalization they can do afterwards, whether it be for email copy, for your remarketing, retargeting, uh, it becomes awfully granular. All right, so the next thing I want to share with you is um, this one here is uh, 46 nodes, so 46 separate interactions or questions, if you want to call it, call it that, 34% uh, opt-in, um, and just to sort of uh, play on the long copy, short copy debate that has happened for years, uh, there are no long decision trees, only boring ones. This is 46 nodes, and they've done t about 10,000 leads in, in, in a month. Uh, with a 34% opt-in, which is uh, was quite lucrative in this for this market. Uh, one more I want to share with you. This is a 73% opt-in or 74% opt percent opt-in. Uh, they were getting at their peak uh, 2.6 leads per second, or about 160 leads every minute, or about 500 or so, or I think 800 or so every five minutes, which is a phenomenal rate of uh, lead capture. Uh, and having a 73% opt-in. Now let's look and see what the decision tree looks like. Um, there you go, not a simple one question decision tree, multiple questions and has given the kind of response that it has. All right, so there's a separate video that I've got inside the Leadsook uh, Facebook group where I share how this was constructed and what that means uh, for anyone who wants to replicate this sort of success. We've also been operating in multiple markets, generally speaking, high volume, uh, we work with high volume lead gen um, and high value lead gen, I should say, and high volume. And these are the markets we've worked with so far. Um, we've kind of run out of space, which is why we don't have more, but we've worked with numerous B2B markets, B2C markets, front of funnel, back of funnel, including helping people consume uh, your product or service after they've bought. So you can put a decision tree even on your thank you page to learn more about them so you can help them consume the product to increase their lifetime value, right? Rather than just plugging them into another offer. Um, so once again, well done to testing, but gives you a good idea that uh, it's a versatile tool that can be used in multiple markets across the entire customer journey or funnel. All right, so that concludes uh, step one. Um, to sign up, just go to leadsook.com. Uh, but I'll basically tell you to go to step two now, which is where we look at landing pages. Thank you and look forward to seeing you in the next video.